wanted me to do it and what if I lost and it was a lot of pressure. Jennifer, are you ready for the bonus and for Friday? A dual pressure. Yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. The chef's cooking class was so boring, one student fell asleep in his apple pie? Oh. Panelists. Oh, a cobbler. Wow. I just had to uh, skip this one. Today. I'm from Texas. We don't have pies. We have cobblers. What? I gotta go with apple pie. this week. Thank God. Jennifer, congratulations on winning all of us the bonus. The bonus question wasn't just for Friday's food, but it was also for a prize that we didn't know what it was. Oh. The combination. The combination. The combination. We got the bonus round, so that gave us today's food. In addition, we got two numbers. We realized they were the final two numbers for the safe. The golden safe in the golden room. After we got the last two numbers of the safe, basically all we had to do is figure out how to open it. It took us a while to work on the save because it's like you had to turn it this many times this way, then you got to clear it, then turn it. It was just really confusing. This is just spin it a couple times around. Thank you. Yeah. My best friend in the house, Kaser, opened the safe because he's so smart. <laughs> After cracking the safe, it was, lo and behold, a plate full of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Thanks. peanut butter and jelly sandwich for each of you but these aren't just ordinary sandwiches because one contains a new special power known as a pb and j pass the lucky oh. recipient of this pass will never have to eat pb and j oh. again okay, okay after each food competition you may choose to give this pass to another house guest to use for the week or keep it for yourself please gather everyone around the dining room table oh. One at a time, each house guest may now select one sandwich. Good luck. It's a really good looking bread. This is gross. It's pretty good, actually. Okay, open. No. Nope. Yes, I got it. Oh! Oh! I'm so excited. <laughs> I got the PB&J pass. I'm sure that people will be using it as strategies. Uh, definitely a lot of people in this house are willing to give up a lot of stuff to, to have that pass. I hate TV and <laughs> So, uh, we get to add it My relationship with Howie is quite funny. He is a ball of laughs. He's just, uh, I don't know if he's curious or if he's just, um, you know, kind of trying to work me for, you know, a vote. Oh my God, it looks like a first date. Well, uh, we'll talk again later. I'll call you or something. Yeah, call me. Okay. If I were to go on a first date with Howie, he would obviously trying to like probably molest me or do something, but I don't care how hunky you are, how rich you are, you ain't getting no bow on the first date. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm completely secure with you know, my sexuality and great looking built guy. You know, all kinds of people from different planets, races, ethnicities. <laughs> Gotta put his hands above his head, Howie, and take him passionately. I eat it up, it's funny. I like the attention, and I'll keep it going as long as I can. <laughs> oh! 
I'm doing whatever's best for myself in this house. I gotta lie, eat somebody's lunch, kiss the gay guy to do it. I'm gonna do it. Sarah Wara. How am I feeling? Mm -hmm. not, not great. Do you have any advice for me? The past week has started to feel so close to, you know, Kayser, Janelle, and Howie, and Rachel. And the six of us were supposed to be this great team. Um, me and James, unfortunately, just don't fit into the scenario. So we've got to save ourselves. What upsets me is, like, I feel like we're the disposable ones. We go to bed and they don't come to bed for like a half hour, an hour later. Mm -hmm. So we know that they're up talking about us. We know that we're not part of that group. Sarah is kind of just talking to us, telling her true feelings. She is not a strong player. She's just blowing her guts. Because there's not letting go, you know. He'll mm -hmm. fight to the death for her because mm -hmm. that's, how, that's how close he feels to her. And he's so self-centered, so Janelle's so self-centered, so and Howie's so limbo. I it's don't about think that Howie's as limbo as you guys think. How he's way smarter than anybody takes gives him credit for. Let's say that Kayser does leave. Who do you think Janelle's gonna run to? Howie, Howie. of course. Howie. My problem is I don't know who I can trust. Mm -hmm. I had to do a little bit of selling out of my group. I will always do whatever I can, you know, to keep James here and to keep myself here so that we can be together. It's been so fun to we invited Sarah in and she let us know that James was not the strongest player, but that I should be focusing on Kaser and Howie. But I know that she was up there to promote herself and James to get farther in this game. She came up here with a plan. Everything she did made James look good. Everything she did. I'm trying to put someone up who does not have a huge following behind them because they, um, that it will be easier to get rid of that person without having side effects of my actions. And I am trying to get rid of people who I absolutely know would try to get rid of me. There's such a flip floppy couple. Why don't I put her and James up? One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. If my key comes out, there's a little bit of relief, but I don't feel safe this week at all. Nobody ever knows what's going to happen, and it's very uneasy, um, constant worry, not only about yourself, but about your partner. And Maggie, as strategic as she may be, I don't think she's here for the game. She's here to revenge Eric's death. And the people most responsible for that are Kaser, Janelle, and myself. A lot of things I am trying to consider at once. You always have to consider that whoever you nominate is never going to forget that you were the one that nominated them. scenario for me personally, besides leaving the house, is for Kaser to get evicted. I'm just nervous about Kaser. Am I nervous? A little bit. But I've been on the block before. I've gained some experience. Keep putting me on the block. I find a way to get off and I'll make their lives a living hell. I do know that there are a few people who are expecting to be nominated. And if I don't nominate them, they still will come after me. It's time to gather in the dining room for the nomination ceremony. When I won HOH, it was very clear cut to me that things were black and white in this game and where people stood. In just the 24 hours that I was given to make my decision, things started to become actually a little gray. 
With that being said, I'm going to pull the first key. 